This is lesson 15 on FPGAs. And we saw in lesson 14 how PLDs and CPLDs were implemented using multiple input AND gates and OR gates to implement basically a sum of product uh, solution. Well, in 1985, Xilinx introduced a completely different architecture for a programmable logic device called a logic cell array made up of a whole array of so-called configurable logic blocks. Uh, in 1991 they introduced the 4000 architecture and this shows what the chip looks like. It's, it's a, an array of these little configurable logic blocks or CLBs. Around the edge there are I.O. blocks and these CLBs are connected with basically switches and wires inside the chip so you can connect the output of this CLB to the input of this one or any other one on the chip. So what's in the configurable logic block? Well the configurable logic block is made up of these lookup tables. This is really a 16 by 1 RAM. There are four inputs and one outputs and it's just a, a lookup table. You put in an address 0 to 15 here and a single bit is stored so it's just a 16 by 1 RAM. There are three of them here and this also contains a couple of flip-flops which we won't be concerned with now. We'll talk about flip-flops later in future lessons. So how can a 16 by 1 RAM implement logic functions? Well it's basically just stores the lookup, the um, truth table in it. Look here. Suppose you have this combination of A, B, C, D, in and Z out. This would be not A and B or C and D, for example. Well, this could be the truth table. A, B, C, D goes from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1, and there are 16 possible uh, outputs here for Z. So you just store that in the RAM and you put in A, B, C, D as an address and out comes Z. So if you put in 0, 1, 0, 1, out comes a 1. Well since there are 16 bits in the output, there are 2 to the 16 or 64K different ways of arranging those outputs. So with a simple 16 by 1 RAM, you can implement over 64,000 different uh, logic functions. No AND gates, no OR gates, just a, a lookup table. So here's what's really inside the chip. These are these CLBs, these are these switch matrices, the outputs just get uh, wired into other ones so this output can go to the next one. In 1998, Xilinx introduced the Vertex FPGA family. Uh, those CLB contains what they call two slices. Each slice had two lookup tables and two flip-flops. Also included some carry uh, and control functions here to do fast arithmetic. 2003, they introduced the Spartan 3 family. and uh, in the Nexus 2 board we use actually the Spartan 3E and the CLBs in the Spartan 3E contain four slices shown here. Each slice has two lookup tables again four inputs and one output and two flip-flops and the I.O. blocks go around the edge. So here is a um, summary of what's inside the Spartan 3E family. The basis board uses this 100 uh, series which has 100K uh, system gates. The Nexus 2 board you can either get the 500 one, 500K, or the 1200. The 500K uh, part contains uh, over 1100 CLBs, over 4600 slices. The uh, 1200 contains over 2,000 CLBs and over 8,600 slices. The distributed RAM is, 
just uses the CLBs as a memory. You can actually uh, use the inputs to the CLB as an address, and so you can make RAM out of the CLBs. That's called the distributed RAM. And in the 500, there are 73K bits of, of that, um, uh, that memory. Uh, in the 1200, there's 136K. The Spartan 3Es also contain block RAM bits. We'll talk about block RAM and how we use it for doing uh, video graphics uh, in later lessons. But the 500 contains 360K of those block RAM bits, and the 1200 contains uh, 504K.